Hi everyone. As the first batch of the light edition of the Open Smartwatch is already sold out on AliExpress, I thought this is a good time to show you how I solder the battery onto this thing. So what you need for this is a soldering iron and a strip of this yellow captain tape. And the first thing you're gonna do is, well, make sure it works. So there's no point in soldering the battery to it if it doesn't work, but I would assume because a professional manufacturer is actually building these things and not me, it should actually work. Let's close it. So the bottom F button is the app switcher. This one works. And we can verify this button works. And also the bottom right one. And let's check that the Wi-Fi works. Oh, it reset it. Let's check again. Maybe that's a bug in the code. It connected. We can update the time, it's five past seven. Disconnect again, and if I reset the watch and go to the first screen, it works. And one thing I like to do is because as soon as we solder the battery onto it, we can hold this button here and send it into deep sleep. So most of the components are turned off and we can continue assembling the watch. Now let's get to soldering the battery. The first thing I'll do is, wait a second. So this is where the white balance is gonna go wonky, but I don't care. So the first thing I do is to add a bit of solder onto those pads here. The ground pad needs a little bit more heat because the ground plane is stealing all the energy from the soldering iron. And this one is a lot easier. To solder. So because the ground plane is easy, uh, harder to solder, we're going to start with that one. Make sure to bend the wires really far away from each other and then we can take our time soldering the ground pin first. Let's show you. The ground is this one and this is the plus one where the red one will go. So heat up the pad. And to be honest, I really don't know what I'm doing. I taught most of this myself by looking at YouTube videos. So I'm not a professional, be warned. Okay, so far so good. And let's check, looks okay. So this is where we need this tape. And we're going to cover this pad here with this sticky tape. So this means that we can't short circuit the battery by accidentally touching the ground wire here with the red wire because the tape is on top of it. And the reason why I sold uh, the red wire last is because this pin here takes a lot less time to solder. And we're done. We can see it turns on. It's running from the battery and we can oops, immediately switch it off and put away the soldering iron. Let's give it a quick inspection. Seems okay to me. So next thing I'll do is take off this sticky thing again and next i'm going to put a dab of hot glue on it and use the sticky tape to flatten this blob of glue and because we're going to be fiddling around with the battery and the wires a bit when we put it into the watch i prefer to do this to make sure the wires don't accidentally disconnect so there's our blob of hot glue And then take the tape, put it on this glue and squish it down. Let's 
I'm not sure if getting it off will be an ugly mess, but who cares. Once it has cooled down, we can pull off a little piece of tape, piece of tape again. And we have our battery soldered to the PCB. And the reason why I've chosen no connector here is no one actually has those crimping tools. I don't have one that works with those really tiny ones. For example, this battery came with one, but I don't even know which connector this is. And this one did not come with one. So I prefer just soldering the wires directly to the PCB and I added some space between those two pads so it's actually manageable and there are no components close by which should make it easier to solder it. So next step is how do we assemble this. Push the PCB through here and find the USB port and Wait a second. As I said, this is a little bit fiddly. Be careful not to break off the buttons when you put it inside. Why is this not going inside? Let's see. So. Now it's in and then we can put on the display. I forgot to put the buttons in now, but this doesn't matter. So next step is you line, you look for the notch on the side of the bottom PCB to find the orientation. And then we have to fold the battery, put it in here, gently put it inside. Don't force it, don't break the battery. Once that's inside, we can put everything together. Put the top part on and then use four M2 10 millimeter hex screws to screw everything together. And you will end up with a watch. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your interest in this project and good luck with assembling yours.